Gamers need to get comfortable with not owning games. This is the message Ubisoft director of subscriptions Philippe Tremblay brought up and caused some upset this week. Some of the response was, if buying is not owning, then pirating is not stealing. And while I utterly dislike this message from Ubisoft, let us think further. Is he maybe right? Do we need to get used to it? And are we owning the majority of our games? Let's assume you found a really good game in one of the digital stores, let's say Steam. You pay your 60 euros, download the game and play it. You will probably now think you're owning a very good game. But are you really? And before we dive in further, Steam is only an example. There are issues with many other distribution platforms out there. Obviously, you're not owning the rights on the IP or the copyright of this game. As gamers, we understand and owning that we have a copy we can always play as much as we like and even lend it to a friend or even sell it after we are done with it. But since the era of digital stores has begun, this has become washed out more and more. Digital stores were introducing DRM, a digital rights management, sometimes binding a product to an account and requiring you to be always online. I still remember the online protests against Steam back then. DRM and always online has mostly faded away, though there are still some misguided publishers out there thinking this is still a great idea. License agreements, however, have not changed much. So you think you own your games on Steam, right? Let's check the license agreement we have all signed, and I will link the license agreement into the description below, just in case you're bored and would love to read further on it. The content and services are licensed, not sold. Your license confers no title or ownership in the content and services. This is clear so far, we do not own the content or the services behind it. We own a copy of the game. However, to make use of the content and services, you must have a Steam account and you may be required to be running the Steam client and maintaining a connection to the internet, which basically breaks down to you need to use a Steam account to continue playing. If Steam decides to shut down your account, which has already happened, bad luck. If the Steam client will not run on your PC, you cannot access your games. If you cannot maintain an internet connection, you cannot access your games. Windows 7 users will be facing this issue now. Another point where you could say you're not owning the game is the terms about updating. Just imagine your super good game you have just bought is going to be patched. Content is being removed because of changes in politics or society. Since digital stores and distribution platforms are in place, this is a very easy task and games like GTA already did this. You consent to such automatic updating. You understand that this agreement, including applicable subscription terms, does not entitle you to future updates, unless to the extent required by applicable law. New versions or other enhancements of the content and services associated with a particular subscription, although Valve may choose to provide such updates, etc., in its sole discretion, meaning you have to accept automatic updates, but you're not entitled to get them. And if content should be removed from the game, Steam can force it on you. You won't have much choice. Now, what happens if a platform like Steam shuts down entirely? I have searched and not found a real answer to that question. The answer I get is Steam and Valve won't shut down anytime soon. They are too big. And this just makes me laugh. This is absolutely naive. In times where companies sell their business or become bankrupt from one day to the other, there is nothing like the company is too big. The higher you climb, the harder you fall is a lesson many companies had to learn in the last couple of years. Back to the original question. Is Philippe Tremblay right? Do we need to get comfortable with not owning games? In fact, we are already not really owning owning the majority of our games. We are license holders, not more. A license which can be removed at any time. Honestly, we have exchanged our digital freedom for fast and convenient updates. And like in Nebuchadnezzar's backstory, one big company has built their monument to worship. The majority of gamers won't accept the platform next to Steam, which will eventually lead to a series of problems. And subscription-based gaming, especially game streaming or cloud gaming, worsens the situation. But what are the alternatives? Some publishers and studios still produce physical copies, like CDs. If you don't have a CD-ROM or a DVD drive on your PC, there are external ones for USB. If you have a console, buy the physical version of the game, CD, cartridge, whatever. Stores like GOG, so good old games, offer you to download the entire DRM-free installer, which can back up to an external media. Their store is usually not required to play a game. In the end, it is all to us, the gamers and the consumers. 
The market should adapt to us and our needs, not the other way around. But what do you think? Drop your opinion into the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and take care.